Michael Freer. Uh, let's have a look at the starting lineup for Fatima. Well, the man at the top, Christian Edwards, he was sent off in the last game. They appealed the decision, and he he is back in the lineup today. The appeal was uh, upheld, and so Edwards is the goalkeeper. Then there's Bailey, the skipper, Noons, Atherton, Williams, Romani, Alcantara, Atong, the Gans, Shaves, and Hospitalis. That is the lineup, and the coach, of course, uh, Hudson Charles. As we look at the formation. I expect Alcantara and Romani in particular to play more of a double pivot in the middle of the park, which allows the Gans to go a bit a bit more forward. Look at Bailey and Atong to, to be advanced and Hospitalis and Nunes always willing to overlap and get past Atong and Bailey. So that is the lineup. Let's have a look at the Sawa North lineup. There's the Sawa North. Just waiting on their lineup, their starting lineup. Very familiar, Haynes in goal. There's Skipper Noel, Lewis, Ferguson, Sween, Joseph, Mitchell, Lewis, Guy, Jones, and Brown. And the coach, Jerry Moore. Let's have a look at their formation. Well, they're playing a, a 4 5 1, which would morph into a 4 1 4 1. Mitchell expected to do most of the shielding of the back four. Look for Jones in particular to be floating in and around. And of course, the ever impressive Sween to supply to that man up front, Captain Larry Noel, who we all know is a scoring threat. So very early, Samo trying to get possession, but it was Fatima with the first chance. Shaves running up that left side, sent it back, looking for the guns. He lost his footing. And then Sween with a free kick, not very powerful, all along the ground, but well held by the goalkeeper. And there again, Sween with another shot that really didn't trouble uh, Tristan Edwards, who had a fine game in the uprights. Noel, he also had a shot. It bounced off for the keeper, but he was always in control. And then comes Sween with that was a cracker, but sorry, that one went over the bar. And Sween, he was he kept testing the keeper, but Fatima went forward. And then Noons. Was that a cross? Was that but it ended up in the back of the net? Was it a shot? Was it a cross? Noons doesn't care. He's got the winner here for Fatima. He scored in the first half. And then a cross ball. Then Romani had a chance. He hit it good to the left of the keeper Haynes, who did exceedingly well. And this was another, this was a moment here where Sween had a cracker from just outside the box. It was tipped over the bar by the goalkeeper. And then another shot taken, but Edwards equal to it, just parrying it. Another brilliant shot here, and an even more spectacular save. And the follow up from Sween was also saved by Edwards. And then the final shot going over the bar. They just could not beat Tristan Edwards in that Fatima goal. And then here is Romani with a shot of his own that Haynes couldn't hold on to, but luckily it came off of him and went towards the players. So there is the final result. Fatima winning by one goal to nil. It's, uh, let's... So those were the highlights. Brent, let's have a look at the stats. Well, there were 13 shots on goal by San Juan North Secondary, 11 of those on target. Eight shots by Fatima College, seven on target. Of course, five fouls by San Juan North, eight from Fatima College. Three cards in total in the game. San Juan North receiving one, Fatima College two. No red cards in the game. Two offsides split evenly between the two sides. Ten corners, eight of them by San Juan North and two by Fatima College. Six saves by San Juan North Secondary, 11 by Fatima College. Despite statistically San Juan North Secondary look like the better team, the most important start is the 1 0 scoreline for Fatima College. It's certainly a 1 0 scoreline here at the end. Let's go down to Siobhan and see who she's got with her. Thank you, Colin. I am here with man of the match for today's semi-final number two, Tristan Edwards, goalkeeper of Fatima. Hold on to this, so this is all yours. Now, taking it back a bit, Tristan, in the game against St. Anthony's College, you would have been given a red card. It was appealed and rescinded. And today, you stand as the man of the match. How are you feeling about that? I'm feeling very proud of the team. I can't 
describe what's kind of describe how proud I feel right now. Coming out from the red card, coming back to get my match, it's on, it's incredible. And what was going through your mind during all those saves? It was save after save after save. Red card, come back, clean sheet, Mari match, back to see. Definitely redeemed yourself in this one today. Now, the question is, what is your mindset going to be? Because now you guys have qualified for the finals against St. Benedict's on Wednesday. What is your mindset? Well, we play the mini league, we draw one, we have a vengeance for them, we come back for them. Especially that man who said, so I'm a better team than Fatima. We're coming for you. We want you. We want you. All right. Well, congratulations again to you, Tristan Edwards. Enjoy it. Thanks.